Deuteronomy 2. Then we turned and set out for the wilderness by the way to the Red Sea, as Yahweh spoke to me, and circled Mount Sire for many days. And Yahweh spoke to me, saying, You have circled this mountain long enough, now turn north, and command the people, saying, You are going to pass through the territory of your brothers, the sons of Esau who live in Sire, and they will be afraid of you, so be very careful. Do not provoke them, for I will not give you any of their land, even as little as a footstep, because I have given Mount Sire to Esau as a possession. You shall buy food from them with money so that you may eat, and you shall also bargain with them for water with money so that you may drink. For Yahweh your God has blessed you in all the work of your hand. He has known your wanderings through this great wilderness. These forty years Yahweh your God has been with you. You have not lacked a thing. So we pass beyond our brothers, the sons of Esau, who live in Sire, away from the Arabah road, away from Elath, and from Ezion Geber. And we turned and passed through by the way of the wilderness of Moab. Then Yahweh said to me, Do not harass Moab, nor provoke them to war. For I will not give you any of their land as a possession, because I have given Ar to the sons of Lot as a possession. The Imam lived there formerly, a people as great, numerous, and tall as the Anakim. Like the Anakim, they are also regarded as Rephaim, but the Moabites call them Imam. Now the Horites formerly lived in Sire, but the sons of Esau dispossessed them and destroyed them from before them and settled in their place, just as Israel would do to the land of their possession which Yahweh gave to them. Now arise and cross over the brook Zered yourselves. So we crossed over the brook Zered. Now the time that it took for us to come from Kadesh Barnea until we crossed over the brook Zered was thirty-eight years, until all the generation of the men of war came to an end from within the camp, as Yahweh had sworn to them. Moreover, the hand of Yahweh was against them, to bring them into confusion from within the camp until they all came to an end. So it happened, when all the men of war had come to an end in death from among the people, that Yahweh spoke to me, saying, Today you are about to cross over Ar, the border of Moab, and you will come opposite the sons of Ammon. Do not harass them, nor provoke them, for I will not give you any of the land of the sons of Ammon as a possession, because I have given it to the sons of Lot as a possession. It is also regarded as the land of the Rephaim, for Rephaim formerly lived in it, but the Ammonites called them Zemzuman, a people as great, numerous, and tall as the Anakim. But Yahweh destroyed them before them, and they dispossessed them and settled in their place, just as he did for the sons of Esau, who live in Sire, when he destroyed the Horites from before them. They dispossessed them and settled in their place even to this day. And the Avim, who lived in villages as far as Gaza, the Kaphtorim, who came from Kaphtor, destroyed them and lived in their place. Arise, set out, and pass through the valley of Arnon. Look, I have given Sion the Amorite, king of Heshbon, and his land into your hand. Begin to take possession and provoke him to battle. This day I will begin to put the dread and fear of you upon the peoples everywhere under the heavens, who, when they hear the report of you, will tremble and be in anguish because of you. So I sent messengers from the wilderness of Kedemoth to Sion, king of Heshbon, with words of peace, saying, Let me pass through your land. I will only go on the highway. I will not turn aside to the right or to the left. You will sell me food for money so that I may eat, and give me water for money so that I may drink. Only let me pass through on foot, just as the sons of Esau who live in Sire and the Moabites who live in Ar did for me until I cross over the Jordan into the land which Yahweh our God is giving to us. But Sion, king of Heshbon, was not willing for us to pass through his land. For Yahweh your God stiffened his spirit and made his heart obstinate, in order to give him over into your hand as he is today. And Yahweh said to me, See, I have begun to give Sion and his land over to you. Begin to possess, so that you may fully possess his land." Then Sion with all his people came out to meet us in battle at Jahaz. But Yahweh our God gave him over to us, and we struck him down with his sons and all his people. So we captured all his cities at that time and devoted to destruction the men, women, and little ones of every city. We left no survivor remaining. We took only the animals as our plunder and the spoil of the cities which we had captured. 
from Aror, which is on the edge of the valley of Arnon, and from the city which is in the valley, even to Gilead, there was not a town that was too high for us. Yahweh our God gave all over to us. Only you did not go near to the land of the sons of Ammon, all along the river Jabbok in the cities of the hill country, and wherever Yahweh our God had commanded us. Psalm 83, a song, a psalm of Asaph. O God, do not remain at rest. Do not be silent, and, O God, do not be quiet. For behold, your enemies roar, and those who hate you have lifted up their heads. They make shrewd plans against your people, and conspire together against your treasured ones. They have said, Come, and let us wipe them out as a nation, that the name of Israel be remembered no more. For they have conspired together with one heart. Against you they cut a covenant, the tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites, Moab and the Hagrites, Gabal and Ammon and Amalek, Philistia with the inhabitants of Tyre. Assyria also has joined with them. They have become the power of the children of Lot. Selah. Do to them as to Midian, as to Sisera and Jabin at the river of Kishon, who were destroyed at Endor, who were as dung for the ground. Make their nobles like Oreb and Zeb, and all their princes like Zeba and Zalmunna, who said, Let us possess for ourselves the pastures of God. O oh my God, make them like the whirling dust, like chaff before the wind, like fire that burns the forest, and like a flame that burns up the mountains. So pursue them with your tempest, and dismay them with your storm. Fill their faces with disgrace, that they may seek your name, O Yahweh. Let them be ashamed and dismayed forever, and let them be humiliated and perish, that they may know that you alone, your name is Yahweh, are the Most High over all the earth. Psalm 84 For the choir director, according to the Giddeth, of the sons of Korah, a psalm. How lovely are your dwelling places, O Yahweh of hosts! My soul has longed and even fainted for the courts of Yahweh, my heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. Even as the bird has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she sets her young, at your altars, O Yahweh of hosts, my King and my God, how blessed are those who dwell in your house! They are ever praising you. Selah. How blessed is the man whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the highways to Zion. Passing through the valley of Baca, they make it a spring. The early rain also wraps it up with blessings. They go from strength to strength. Each one of them appears before God in Zion. O Yahweh, God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Selah. See our shield, O God, and look upon the face of your anointed. For better is a day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would choose to stand at the threshold of the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. For Yahweh God is a sun and shield. Yahweh gives grace and glory. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk blamelessly. O Yahweh of hosts, how blessed is the man who trusts in you. Isaiah 30 Woe to the rebellious children, declares Yahweh, who execute counsel, but not mine, and make an alliance, but not of my spirit, in order to add sin to sin, who go down to Egypt, but did not ask me, to find strength in the strong defense of Pharaoh, and to take refuge in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore the strong defense of Pharaoh will be your shame, and the refuge in the shadow of Egypt your dishonor. For their princes are at Zoan, and their messengers reach Hanes. Everyone will be ashamed because of a people who cannot profit them, who are not for help or profit, but for shame and also for reproach. The oracle concerning the beast of the Negev, through a land of distress and anguish. From where come lioness and lion, viper and flying fiery serpent. They carry their wealth on the backs of young donkeys, and their treasures on camel's humps, to a people who cannot profit them, even Egypt, whose help is vain and empty. Therefore I have called her Rahab, who has ceased. Now go, write it on a tablet before them, and inscribe it on a scroll, that it may be in time to come as a witness forever. For this is a rebellious people, false sons, sons who are not willing to listen to the law of Yahweh, who say to the seers, You must not see, and to those who have visions, 
You must not behold visions for us of what is right. Speak to us pleasant words. Behold visions of illusions. Get out of the way. Turn aside from the path. Cease speaking before us about the Holy One of Israel. Therefore, thus says the Holy One of Israel, Since you have rejected this word, and have put your trust in oppression, in deviousness, and have relied on them, therefore this iniquity will be to you like a breach about to fall, a bulge in a high wall, whose breaking comes suddenly in an instant, whose breaking is like the breaking of a potter's jar, so ruthlessly shattered, that a potsherd will not be found among its pieces, to take fire from a hearth, or to scoop water from a cistern. For thus Lord Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, has said, In repentance and rest you will be saved, in quietness and trust is your might. But you were not willing, and you said, No, for we will flee on horses. Therefore you shall flee, and we will ride on swift horses. Therefore those who pursue you shall be swift. One thousand will flee at the threat of one man. You will flee at the threat of five, until you are left as a flag on a mountain top and as a standard on a hill. Therefore Yahweh waits with longing to be gracious to you, and therefore he is on high to have compassion on you. For Yahweh is a God of justice. How blessed are all those who wait for him. O people in Zion, inhabitant in Jerusalem, you will weep no longer. He will surely be gracious to you at the sound of your cry. When he hears it, he will answer you. The Lord has given you bread of distress and water of oppression. He, your teacher, will no longer hide himself, but your eyes will see your teacher. And your ears will hear a word behind you. This is the way. Walk in it, whenever you turn to the right or to the left. And you will defile your graven images overlaid with your silver, and your molten images plated with your gold. You will scatter them as an impure thing and say to them, Be gone. Then he will give you rain for the seed which you will sow in the ground, and bread from the produce of the ground, and it will be rich and fat. On that day your livestock will graze in a roomy pasture. Also the oxen and the donkeys which work the ground will eat salted fodder, which has been widowed with shovel and fork. And it will be that on every lofty mountain and on every lifted up hill there will be streams running with water on the day of the great slaughter, when the towers fall. And the light of the moon will be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun will be seven times brighter, like the light of seven days, on the day Yahweh binds up the fracture of his people, and heals the bruise he has inflicted. Behold, the name of Yahweh comes from afar. Burning is his anger, and heavy is his smoke. His lips are filled with indignation, and his tongue is like a consuming fire. His breath is like an overflowing torrent, which reaches to the neck to shake the nations back and forth in a sieve of worthlessness, and to put in the jaws of the peoples the bridle which staggers one to ruin. You will have songs as in the night when you set yourself apart as holy for the festival, and gladness of heart as when one marches to the sound of the flute, to go to the mountain of Yahweh, to the rock of Israel. And Yahweh will cause his splendid voice to be heard, and the descending of his arm to be seen in raging anger, and in the flame of a consuming fire in cloudburst, downpour, and hailstones. For at the voice of Yahweh, Assyria will be dismayed when he strikes with the rod. And every blow of the appointed staff, which Yahweh will cause to rest upon him, will be with the music of tambourines and lyres, and in battles, waving weapons, he will fight them. For Topheth has long been ready. Indeed, it has been prepared for the king. He has made it deep and large, a pyre of fire with plenty of wood. The breath of Yahweh, like a torrent of brimstone, sets it afire. Jude Jude, a slave of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to those who are the called, beloved in God the Father and kept for Jesus Christ, may mercy and peace and love be multiplied to you. Beloved, while I was making every effort to write you about our common salvation, I felt the necessity to write to you exhorting that you contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all handed down to the saints. For certain persons have crept in unnoticed, those who were long beforehand marked out for this condemnation, ungodly persons who turn the grace of our God into sensuality and deny our only Master and Lord Jesus Christ. Now I want to remind you, though you know all things, that Jesus 
having once saved a people out of the land of Egypt, subsequently destroyed those who did not believe, and angels who did not keep their own domain, but abandoned their proper abode, he is kept in eternal bonds under darkness for the judgment of the great day. Just as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them have indulged in the same way as these in gross sexual immorality and having gone after strange flesh, are exhibited as an example in undergoing the punishment of eternal fire. Yet in the same way these men, also by dreaming, defile the flesh and reject authority and blaspheme glorious ones. But Michael the archangel, when he, disputing with the devil, was arguing about the body of Moses, did not dare pronounce against him a blasphemous judgment, but said, The Lord rebuke you. But these men blaspheme the things which they do not understand, and the things which they know by instinct, like unreasoning animals, by these things they are destroyed. Woe to them! For they have gone the way of Cain, and for pay they have poured themselves into the error of Balaam, and perished in the rebellion of Korah. These are the men who are hidden reefs in your love feast, when they feast with you without fear, caring for themselves, clouds without water, carried along by winds, autumn trees without fruit, doubly dead, uprooted, wild waves of the sea, casting up their own shame like foam, wandering stars for whom the black darkness has been reserved forever. But Enoch, in the seventh generation from Adam, also prophesied about these men, saying, Behold, the Lord came with many thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment upon all and to convict all the ungodly of all their ungodly deeds which they have done in an ungodly way and of all the harsh things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are grumblers, finding fault, following after their own lusts, and their mouth speaks arrogantly, flattering people for the sake of their own benefit. But you, beloved, must remember the words that were spoken beforehand by the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, that they were saying to you, In the last time there will be mockers, following after their own ungodly lusts. These are the ones who cause divisions, worldly-minded, not having the Spirit. But you, beloved, building yourselves up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God, waiting for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to eternal life. And on some who are doubting, have mercy, and for others, save, snatching them out of the fire. And on others, have mercy with fear, hating even the tunic polluted by the flesh. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling, and to make you stand in the presence of his glory, blameless with great joy, to the only God our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, might, and authority, before all time, and now, and forever. Amen.